A lot of men who have a low sperm count are worried about what the impact of their low sperm count will be on IVF success rates. And this is becoming an increasing problem now because a lot of men are getting tested for what is called sperm DNA fragmentation. And the reality is lots of fertile men and lots of infertile men will have high sperm DNA fragmentation. And it doesn't really make any difference at all. But when the IVF cycle fails or when the embryos are poor quality, the IVF clinic then blames the man for the poor embryo quality and says, oh, it was your high sperm DNA fragmentation, which caused the high embryo fragmentation, which caused the embryo to fail to implant. And that's what the problem is. And then to add insult to injury, they either treat the man with all kinds of useless supplements, which don't help at all. Or even worse, they'll tell the man, oh, now we need to do a TISA and extract sperm directly from the testis, as if that's going to affect sperm DNA fragmentation. But it's a great way for making more money. And the worst is, they'll tell men, oh, look, this was the problem. That's why the IVF cycle failed. And now you need to use donor sperm. Pure rubbish. Don't get taken by any of this. All you need to do is find a good IVF clinic, which does ICSI well, which means you need a really good embryologist. Because remember, with ICSI, you require literally just one live sperm per egg in order to achieve fertilization and an embryo. And the good news is that once fertilization has occurred, the sperm has very little role to play. I know it's 50% eggs and 50% sperm and 50% of the DNA comes from the egg and 50% comes from the sperm. But in reality, as far as embryo development goes, all the energy for embryo cleavage in this early stage comes from the mitochondria of the egg cytoplasm and the sperm have a very little role to play. Please don't allow your doctor to cheat you or take you for a ride.